Hello and welcome to the Adventure Games Podcast. My name is Shorter Dunbar. I hope everyone watching is well. Uh, if this is your first time uh, watching a video from this channel, as the name suggests, we uh, talk about, we have uh, videos on uh, adventure games, uh, so many point-and-click games, but any kind of narrative-driven games as well. Could be walking simulators, could be, um, yeah, any games that have a strong narrative or puzzles with puzzle element as well. We have interviews with developers as well, which you can check out on uh, on the channel, on the YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe and you can uh, you can still keep uh, to keep finding out about these games as well and these videos that we put up um, as well. And every month or so, we will also be uploading video with trailers of adventure games coming out in that month. So uh, in this month, February, in just a moment, I'll be showing trailers and talk a little bit about adventure games that will be coming out uh, this coming month. And also, um, if you haven't uh, checked us out yet, uh, again, it's a name, suggest a podcast. We are a podcast. You can listen to us anywhere in the podcast, Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts, where we have reviews of the latest adventure games that we've been playing. The latest game that we reviewed was The Night is Grey. Uh, so you can check that out. There will be uh, written reviews as well on the website, adventuregamespodcast.com. And we also have interviews with developers such as Charles Cecil, Tony Warner, Dave Gilbert, Francisco Gonzalez, um, many, many more. We've done this over the last six years. So you can check out over 200 episodes if you haven't already and plenty more to come. There'll be interviews with uh, developers uh, um, of Angle Tower and uh, Tom Hardridge. Uh, coming up as well. So make sure to check it out, adventuregamespodcast.com and anywhere else that uh, you listen to podcasts. Now, for this video, I'll be uh, showing trailers of adventure games coming out in February, as I said, but uh, and at first I thought that there weren't a lot of adventure games coming out, but upon checking the calendar, there are quite a few uh, and a good variety of adventure uh, games and puzzle games coming out. That I think people will find interesting. So I've decided to split this video up into two. So this video, we will look at some adventure games. First of all, that I missed that came out at the end of January and beginning of February. And then the next video in a couple of weeks time, I will be uh, talking about showing videos of games coming out uh, towards the end of February, last couple of weeks of February. So uh, with that, let's get started. The first game that I'm going to show a trailer of is... Uh, it, with a very, very serious topic, it deals with the Holocaust uh, about Polish Jews. I'll talk a little bit more about this. It was released um, towards the end of January and uh, it is the light in the dark. So here is a trailer for this game. Oh, yes, my apologies. It was the light in the darkness. Um, and as you saw, it's some quite heavy subject matter. Uh, it follows a story of a working class family of Polish Jews in France during the Holocaust. And according to developers, Voices of the Forgotten, it is the first video game to portray the Holocaust. And this game is free as well. Um, we will also be hopefully reviewing this game on the podcast. Uh, so Again, maybe it's not for everybody, but um, as I said on the podcast, I do believe that there should be games like this um, as well for you know education and for games to be considered art as well. So I'll be giving my thoughts on this game uh, in an upcoming episode of the podcast, uh, but you can check out all the links will be in the description below. So you can check out the 
subscription. It's available on PC, on Steam, and on consoles, on Xbox, and on the P uh, the PlayStation as well. So now for something very different, uh, let's get to the next trailer, uh, Chronic the Silence You. So that is Chronic the Silence You, which was released on uh, January 29th on Steam. Uh, I interviewed the developers last year uh, when they had their Kickstarter that succeeded. And uh, very, very nice guys. And uh, you can check out that interview where they had a fascinating story about the development of the game, uh, which is semi-autobiographical. Uh, so it's set in the 1970s Southern France, and you play the role of a rookie detective. And you have to dig into secrets of a stubborn old man. And uh, developers said that they wanted to make a yeah, proper detective game. So there will be some deductions and uh, as well uh, throughout the game. And uh, what they call head first investigation. You find out more about people's history. And it's also a time in history that we don't probably know too much about. 1970s France, I believe, is set during the riots as well. So uh, yeah, I hope to check it out as soon as I possibly can. And it is from uh, Pierre Fury Studio, and it is out now on Steam. So you can check it out, Chronique de Silencieux. And now sticking with Detective, here is another Detective game that is uh, now about to be released in February. Uh, please enjoy this trailer for Detective Riddell. That was a trailer for Detective Riddell. Uh, and this is another detective game. Uh, this is a cozy murder mystery game with escape room style puzzles set on a train. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much what it says on the tin. There's a cast, as we saw, of crazy mysterious uh, characters, including a guy with a sheet over his head. I'm not sure what that's about, but uh, it looks fun. It looks like a lot of fun. 
and um and yeah so that is coming out on 5th of february 2024 and now there is something uh that is uh very interesting for something very different a game that i just found out about it's a new fmv game and uh, here is a trailer for this game i have an idea let's play psychoanalyst The problems are sometimes quite complicated. I've fallen in love with your wife. The couch is still warm. Who's been sleeping in my bed? There was a time when his hand would have felt good, reassuring, sexy. But this time I smiled and nodded and all I could think of was how to get his hand off my knee. I'll miss the sex, but I've had three good years with her and it's time to get out. I'm going to Greece, which I love, with my wife, whom I hate. Analysts are actively listening and try not to interrupt. They are listening for patterns of thought, for incidents that remind them of other incidents, for the patient's unique use of symbols and metaphors. There is nothing more interesting in the world. So of two minds. Now, I just found out about this game. I don't know really much about it, but from what I do know, it it was filmed in literally back in 1989, but that film is only, uh, has only just been made available now, and they've turned this into a game where you psychoanalyze the characters, as we saw in the trailer, um, and it is going to be available on mobiles at the beginning of February. I believe it's coming out on February 5th with like Detective Riddell. So another kind of detective -y game. Um, but it, it looked absolutely fascinating. I have no idea what really what to expect from it, but I'm very curious. And again, I hope to check it out at some point because um, it's, I think it's available on it is available on mobile. So perfect game to play on the commute. Or when you're going somewhere as well. Uh, well, maybe, hopefully, maybe enough people mightn't be able to watch what they're doing on your phone, depending on the scenes there. But yeah, it is of two minds. It is coming out on February February 5th on uh, on mobiles. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you can find out more about it. And if you played it as well, please let me know. <laughs> please let us know in the comments or anything. Um, as I'd love to hear more about it myself. So on to the next games, and now two more games coming out on February 6th. Uh, we start with a charming game called Clem. Bring me beauty. coming out on february 6th now i played a demo of this game uh, at adventure x back in november i uh, didn't finish it but i quite enjoyed what i played it's um narrative driven puzzle adventure game you wake up this world and you hear a voice from this girl who tells you to do things and you have to solve puzzles and open doors and try and find out what is happening who you are and uh wander around this mysterious house and uh, hopefully to learn more about the backstory and just what is happening. It looks really, really nice. It um, looks, as I said, very charming, but they're probably it's probably darker 
And um, don't know again what's going on, but it's all very mysterious. And you saw some of the puzzles. Some of the puzzles that I had in the game were quite nice as well from what I played in the demo at Adventure X. Um, so, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be good. I'm sure people will enjoy it based on the demo at least. It has already won some awards and been nominated for awards. Uh, so uh, this game is from Spanish studio, I believe. Mango Protocol has been published by Iceberg Interactive and will be released on Steam and Nintendo Switch on February 6th. And now back to a murder mystery. Uh, here's another trailer for, uh, for, well, trailer for another murder mystery game. Uh, this is Murder is Game Over. Uh, so please enjoy this trailer. Murder is game over deal killer. Um, this is the third game in the series, I believe, and this is set uh, on the Italian Alps. And um, yeah, as you can see from the trailer, it is an isometric view, what looks like an RPG game, as uh, RPG maker, I believe. Uh, but it is an adventure game. It is a detective pixographic adventure game from Hitterion Games and published by Meridian Four. And Hitterion Games have made several other point and click adventure games and they've all done they've all got pretty good reviews so I'm again looking forward to this I should start playing this series soon uh I hope to very very soon as well and um yeah so this game this murder mystery if you like murder mysteries then this game looks like uh, it'll be for you um and murder game over deal killer is uh, on steam on February 6th uh, 2024 and now uh we'll final couple of games now uh something quite different um this next game is a puzzle platformer this is the penultimate game that i'll be talking about today uh and it is called airhead so please enjoy <laughs> So that is Airhead, which is a puzzle platformer adventure game. Um, and in this game, you 
uh, as you saw in the trailer, first of all, play as a, well, a headless body, and then you see this entity, and uh, you use that as your head, which is slowly deflating, so you need to inflate it, you need to find cylinders uh, throughout the game, throughout this world that you traverse, and uh, you have to, um, well, survive, basically, find a way to keep this uh, body and this head alive. So it looks absolutely stunning. Um, I don't. It looks similar to I don't think Inside and Limbo. Um, I don't know if it's a, if the gameplay is similar. Um, but it is. Uh, yeah, it's puzzle platformer, uh, which looks absolutely fantastic. And you have several environmental puzzles and exploration, different places that you explore. As I would say, explore dark caverns, ancient structures, and other mysterious locations in order to save the head. And uh, you. And also, uh, you have this uh, companionship between the body and the head. So, it looks fantastic, and uh, it looks like it could be pretty good. And it's available on PC and consoles on February. Uh, well, when is it? It could be out in February. Uh, it is coming out on February twelfth, I believe. Yes. So, Airhead coming out February twelfth. And now the final game uh, on this video. Um, this is a game I just found out about as well, but it looks really, really in in interesting. It's a massive multiplayer online game, but focused on puzzles and puzzle solving together. So here is a trailer for Islands of Insight. In Islands of Insight, you awaken on a floating island as a seeker. Your goal is to explore a serene fantasy realm of ancient wonders and natural beauty, solve its mysterious puzzles, and unveil the secrets of the islands. We designed the world to be brimming with thousands of handcrafted puzzles, each of them carefully placed throughout the landscape. You might start off solving logic puzzles and then decide to search for hidden objects or go find some perspective or memory puzzles to take on. Designed by some of the best minds in puzzle design, our puzzles vary in difficulty and are thoughtfully crafted to be relaxing, challenging and satisfying to solve for newcomers and seasoned puzzle fans. There is no linear path in Islands of Insight. You choose where to go, which puzzles to solve, and in what order, all at your own pace. You can solve puzzle quests to unlock new areas in the campaign, or explore the main island, an expansive open world where most of the puzzles and secrets are found. Wander around the sublime landscapes on foot, or glide above them. Our shared world allows for seamless interactions and collaboration between players. You can interact with others for a bit of guidance, or you can play entirely on your own. This is your adventure. In today's fast-paced world, we hope Islands of Insight delivers a sublime escape for players looking to unwind. If you want to discover more, play our demo today on our Steam page. So that is Islands of Insight. And I don't know if uh, you guys remember back in 2003 when Cyan were working on Uru, Ages Beyond Mist. I believe it was something similar to this that they wanted to make. They wanted to make an open world shared uh, puzzle game where people could play together online and solve puzzles together online. Now, I believe the technology wasn't quite there back 20 so years ago, but now it seems like it is. And Islands of Insight, again, if you uh, maybe want to play uh, online, but maybe you don't want to play uh, War Warcraft or you don't want combat or whatever, but you do want to solve puzzles together online with people, then this game could be for you. And as you saw in the trailer, if you don't want to do that, you can play completely by yourself as well. So uh, again, it seems fantastic. If you're stuck in a puzzle, you can ask for guidance, ask for help um, as well. And it looks fantastic. Um, and Islands of Insight will be available for PC and consoles on uh, February the 13th. 
uh, so you can check it out then. So that is it for uh, this video. There's still plenty more to come uh, in uh, the next video. So if, if I have time, it might be two videos. So the next video, or maybe in two weeks, um, I will be releasing trailers of adventure games uh, coming out towards the end of February, last couple of weeks of February, including a point and click adventure game, pixel art that many people are looking forward to. There's a VR game, visual novel, and a remake. I will see what other games uh, might be coming out as well. Um, time permitting, I might do a video on about three or four narrative driven games coming out in February. They're not quite adventure games, so I didn't want to include them in this video, but I think that there are games that uh, adventure game fans might be interested in so time permitting i might release that as well but plenty to come in future as well i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please uh give it a like and subscribe to this channel uh the more likes and subscribes uh well means that people like them and i will do more of them if people don't like them then well i won't but hopefully people do like it and i will do more um and find out more about adventure games as well so let me know what you think in the comments do any of these games appeal to you um are there any other games that i missed and uh and yeah let me know your thoughts uh what you want as well um and i will talk to you all very soon so uh until then take care everyone goodbye and remember keep on questing